Good morning everyone, Andrew here with ACR Protect. Thanks for stopping by. First, I'm gonna apologize. I uh, haven't put out any videos in about four weeks. Uh, life, life happened, right? Um, just a lot going on. Um, I've said in the past that you know, I do have a family. I have a full-time job. Um, any of you that are out here doing this yourself, doing doing YouTube videos, know you know there's there, there's a process and and um, <clears throat> it's just it, there's a lot going on. Uh, in fact, last couple of weekends I've been helping a neighbor build a fence. Uh, if you haven't done that, that's uh, that's quite an experience. He has a big ass yard, uh, but I learned a lot. It was a good good uh, good workout, that's for sure. But uh, wanted to bring a video today about my get home bag slash everyday carry bag. Um, like I said, I, I do have a regular job. Um, I do do some driving. Um, and so I have the stuff I need to carry with me on a regular basis for my work. Um, but I also wanted to incorporate that with a bag to get me home. And and there's, um, you know, the, the people that have the bug out bags or the inch bags or, or whatever. Um, me personally, uh, get home bag is what really makes sense to me. That, that, this is where all my stuff is. This is where my family is. <clears throat> I'm trying to get home. Um, so I'm gonna turn this around here. We're gonna break down the bag. We're outside. I know it's not in my, my office this morning. It's a beautiful day out here. Um, it's fall in Texas, so it's finally starting to cool off and be comfortable outside. And so I figured I'd uh, do that plus I have a bigger table out here so I can put all that shit out so you can see it. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera around and point it down at the table and, and uh, show you the bag and then we'll go through it and uh, give me just a moment. Stand by. All right, we're back. Here it is. Before I get into this, let's get the serious business out of the way. Uh, recently, I was uh, called a beer snob by one of my good friends, Brett, at Simple Preparedness. Um, sadly, he's not wrong. I am, I'm kind of an uppity ass when it comes to beer. Uh, I'm filming this in the morning, and, and so I'm not much of a morning beer guy. That was, that was back in my uh, 20s. But <clears throat> I also like good whiskey. And so this morning I decided I'd add a little, uh, little whiskey to my, uh, to my coffee this morning, a little Devil's River, good stuff. Texas whiskey so having a having a relaxing a relaxing day with a little bit of whiskey in the coffee there enough about that let's get into what y'all are here for <clears throat> the bag so previous video I mentioned that I am a fan of LA police gear um, they have good stuff uh, they really do they have good pants they have good bags um, their bags really are almost a clone of the 511 Rush series, which, which I also have. Um, so, this is the LA Police Gear Atlas 24. Um, gonna do a little spin around here so you can see. I'm not gonna give you any specs on the bag, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna break all that out. Uh, you, you, you can go and check out their website and, uh, and see. Uh, I do know the price point on this bag is um anywhere between uh, like 50 and 80 you can sometimes catch them on sale um it's a good bag the uh the canteen pouch on this side and and the med pouch on this side are are separate uh you know mollied on there um <clears throat> speaking of molly this does have the laser cut molly on it on the uh on the front back or whatever you want to call it and then some on the side here where i have this looped in now <clears throat> uh one person that's recently commented on my videos um douchebag brothers uh douchebag's brother dick hell of a character right there um if you haven't watched any of his stuff i would absolutely go check out his channel um this isn't a plug for him, but he, he did uh, recently do a video about laser cut Molly and he brought some stuff to my attention um, that I really didn't think about because you have the regular Molly, which I will show you on another bag. This is actually um, 
uh, Rush 24. Get to that in a minute, but you can see how this is actually stitched on there. A little different. <clears throat> Laser cut. It is a little bit cleaner, but uh, it, not without its complications, because if, uh, if it starts to tear all the way down, uh, you can lose a whole field of... Uh, of webbing essentially and I I think that's a, a, a good point it, it's something to definitely think about when purchasing a bag if that could be a concern it can rip and, and uh, not really easy to fix um, where, whereas the other traditional Molly you could uh, if you had a sewing kit you could probably fix it yourself anyhow <clears throat> just a little comment on that um, like I said this is the bag I, I couldn't um, I'm gonna just start unzipping stuff and, and pulling stuff out and setting it on the table here. Um, I'm not really gonna get into the med kit. I can do that another time. I'm not gonna get into the canteen pouch. Um, same thing, it's, 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 a, it's, just, it's just a canteen pouch and I have the, you heard it, there it is. The, the cup and the lid are in there for anyone thinking I don't, do, uh, don't have it. Um, and this is just a regular GI canteen, yep. It's full of water. You know, this is, like I said, this is my EDC. Uh, I drink out of a canteen. Some people in my work think I'm a damn weirdo. Uh, they work, you know, it works. And, and if you haven't figured out anything from my videos, I'm, I'm a big believer in just doing stuff that works. I, I didn't want a big uh, Nalgene on there. Didn't want to buy another pouch. So I just used a canteen and I, I drank out of that. Fill it up throughout the day. Um, so I'm gonna, Lay this bag down now that I have that out of there because it kind of leaks more. Lay this down so I got this little bottom zipper cordage. You know, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to be as fast as I can on a get home bag video. Just some loose uh, paracord, some different colors there, and some uh, some twine. This is kind of a, a smaller, narrower pocket. I'm not really doing a, a bag review, but I, I will kind of mention some stuff. Uh, while I'm going through this bag just just so if you're interested you can You have a little more knowledge before you drop some money on the bag. That's all I keep in there This next one in the pocket Well We are still on a day of mass. I have a little mask here uh, In case you got to wear one somewhere uh, You know COVID and all that stuff couple uh, emergency blankets Let's see if I can fold this down so you can see in there so I don't have to pull everything out like a jackass um, okay I got bandana Sawyer mini and all its equipment compass pens this is the straw for the Sawyer um, some zip ties Flushable wipes. We all know what those are for, right? Don't really need to break that down too much more. Um, I don't think I have anything else in these pockets here. I kind of, I don't really like uh, bulking them out too much, you know? Um, makes the bag too big. Uh, this back pocket, uh, I do just, I just have a paper map of Texas. All right, just extra, right? Um, if you're needing this for, for something bad, you're probably not going to have cell phone usage. So might have to go, uh, go old school there, but it's, it's a little bit of, like I said, this bag is everyday work stuff slash get home bag, you know, hence the pens and stuff like that in there. All right. Top one here. Okay, I got a little boo-boo kit. Um, bought this online and then I added some stuff to it. Um, again, I'm not gonna get into this, but it's, you know, bandages and aspirin and, and uh, you know, s a sting relief and all that fun stuff. So, got that. Business cards, y'all don't need to see those. And we got the, all the damn cats in the neighborhood. Fun. Some Ricolas. Because, uh, you know, it's cold season, right? Bug spray. 
couple extra ship masks in case you need them. Um, aqua tabs. You know what those are for. Partial pack of blackjack gum. I love this. I don't know if you ever had blackjack gum. It's uh, it's old school, old timey. Uh, that and clove. Uh, good stuff. I don't know. Lens cleaners. Little package of them. A uh, little ink removing towelette. Just uh, something, you know, for you clean your sunglasses. I also wear glasses, so it's nice to have those. Silk hot key. Again, uh, if you're in an urban environment, these things are great uh, to help you access water from the side of buildings. Uh, again, uh, for emergency situations, uh, I wouldn't just go taking water from buildings uh, without their permission, but uh, if it's an emergency and you need some water, uh, at least you have a way of getting it fairly easily. Flashlight. This is a WowTac. It's rechargeable. Um, does have a tail cap switch along with the adjustments here. I think this it's the A7. Um, pretty cool flashlight. Affordable. Rechargeable. Um, if anyone's interested, I can do a review on this. I mean, there's a, a crap ton of flashlight reviews out there. Um, but it's it's an affordable, good flashlight, and it's rechargeable. That's why I have it in there. Access card to get into my work. Altoids 10. Little mini fire kit here. Got a cotton balls and a lighter. And what else is in there? A tea candle. Um, some storm matches, some homemade storm matches. You know, oh, there we go. Gotta have, uh, gotta have lip balm, right? It's kind of weird here in Texas. It gets, it gets all windy and you get chapped lips. It happens in the summer too. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that pouch. All right, top pouch here. It has that like fleece lined in here. It's uh, um good for putting sunglasses and stuff in there pretty slick I, I i don't put sunglasses in there um some of these ginger mints uh my wife kind of turned me on to these um they're pretty cool uh you know g ginger kind of helps with indigestion you know if you're if you eat something didn't agree with you um chew on some of these mints and hopefully make you feel better kind of one of nature's remedies uh this one's unopened haven't opened this one yet uh, hand sanitizer I mean that, that's we all know what that's for Mul multitude of uses there another bandana all right we know what those are for A million uses oh, I'm sorry I hit the camera there all right headlamp this is one of the little Ozark trail ones uh, wasn't super expensive uh, about 10 bucks uh, rechargeable uh, another another thing I like like being able to have rechargeable items um, and this also has a, uh, a red lamp setting um, you know it, it, it helps at night saving your night vision you know just a little bit of light so you can look for stuff in your bag or or look at a map or or whatever but you know the hands-free options for for lighting are pretty important and my dog out here running around actually i was going to do this video on the tailgate of my truck uh however uh my dog would be too needy he'd be hounding me on the other side of the the fence there just just belly aching so he's you might see him in the camera frame here on occasion running around um so the fr front of the bag here Again, this isn't a review of the bag, but it, it's it's very comfortable. These pads are, are really comfortable, and it add you know gives you uh, some air airway channels uh, for for air movement. You know, you're gonna be sweaty and gross anyhow. And then it has these little on the bottom here, these two little rubbery patches, which really help with uh, with it staying in place. It doesn't really slide around on you too much. Um, I do have the waist strap on here. Um, I just haven't taken it off. I'm not a fan of waist straps on backpacks. Um, 
that's just me uh, i'm i'm weird but i i did i did just leave it on there because normally i'm i'm uh i'm like a little high schooler just slinging it over one shoulder when i'm carrying it uh i'm not really you know strapping it on and walking all over the place unless of course i'm training or something it has this little back panel here uh that unzips right in here is the uh the plastic kind of framing to the bag itself i've got a solar charger here this was cheap uh let's see and, and it still works you got the light and it's lighting up all right uh harbor freight i think um but i like it because you can zip tie this to your back and uh and run it on the back of the backpack and leave your phones or whatever inside charging or your or your portable charger or whatever but another way of charging devices got a shamag in here again just kind of redundancy this this has a whole bunch of uses uh Again, there's a million videos on Shamag. I'm not going to beat a dead horse on that. That's all I keep in there. Um, not, a, not a whole lot. So, this system, you've got these two buckles right here, right? LA Police Gear has this uh, this weird chest pack thing. And, 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 and I'm sorry, LA Police Gear. Uh, it, it it was kind of a fail. I, I I ended up buying one. I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna do it. I'm not I'm not even gonna show it, um, because it just I I it's not comfortable. I didn't like it, um, and so I don't use it. It's it's in it's tucked away in a closet somewhere. However, previous video I showed you all that little uh, micro chest rig that I was working on. Cool thing, those clips clip into here, so. If you wanted to add a chest panel, uh, you could. Um, you know, if, if you feel the, the need to do that, you could, uh, and, and it doesn't have to be the, with magazines, it could just be a regular chest pack, uh, you know, like an admin pack or something. Um, but I do like that. And that, and that is one reason I do like this bag for having that option. Um, even more so now knowing, knowing that I can do that. Uh, so let's get into the main part of the pack. Uh, you know, I forgot a couple side, po side pockets. I apologize. Um, so you got the compression straps here. Has these little side pouches. And I've got a fixed blade knife in here. This is not anything expensive, y'all. This, this is a Schrade. They are sharp. It's full tang. It's it's actually a pretty good knife. It wasn't super expensive, like that thirty, forty dollar range, something like that. Um, then it does have a little ferro rod here, and then I added some paracord, you know, just because I had it, and and it can go on there. And again, you can take this out and run it through your belt loop if you needed to. Um, that's all I'm keeping on on this little pouch here. Um, they're kind of they're kind of slick they uh you don't really see them they're discreet you know um however it does it does take up room inside the pack it's not like an external pocket um it, it goes into the bag so it does take up real estate inside the bag <clears throat> same thing on this side here just extra magazines y'all for my glock 17 round uh what are they they're the oh, we've got two glocks and one p mag mag and i just keep them loose in there uh i did have them in like a little pouch thing and uh i didn't like it, it this just works uh, if i need to i'll pull them out and uh and put them on my person but uh just just got them got them there as extras Okay, so this bag does kind of sort of clamshell. Not, not the greatest, it does kind of open up here. So, 
some of the stuff's falling out. So I'm gonna get out the boring stuff. Like I said, this is a work bag and I wanted to be realistic when I showed this to you. So I do have my computer and a notepad just in the back there. I'm, I'm a sucker for legal pads. I, I love these things. That's that's what I do all my notes on. Um, and that's all I got in there. Like that's that's it. That's that's the little slip pocket in the back of the bag. Um, got a MRE, full MRE in here. Haven't tried this one. If anyone's tried the pork saucers, let me know if it's any good. Haven't tried it yet. Um, so these pouches here. Um, top pouch, cliff bar, some coffee, uh, drip drop. Um, again, I'm down here in Texas. It's hot as hell down here. Um, these hydration multipliers like liquid IV, drip drop, uh, Gatorade, Powerade, whatever, um, they really work. But I, I, I really do believe that the drip drop is one of the best like that's one of those after i mow my yard um uh, i slam one of those and i feel a ton better um uh, and, and this isn't a ad for drip drop or anything it's just uh it works and i like it and it tastes pretty good so i've got quite a few of those in there like i said a couple coffees uh some other little meds i got some spare contacts in there just in case and this is also accessible by this bottom zipper too, kind of slick. In here, um, just some uh, DIY MRE stuff. Um, Spanish rice, you don't need to cook it up or anything. It's pretty pretty good. Um, and then this uh, fajita chicken. Again, it's that Walmart brand, but um, you don't even you don't need to cook it you can with the with the pouches you can kind of eat it while you're moving uh again this is a get home bag so my goal is to get home i really don't want to screw around too much um you know i do have the abilities to to heat up um uh, water and and make food and stuff like that but I, I you know i'm trying to get home that's what i'm trying to do uh so in here we've got this is one of the Arcturus uh, tarp poncho things. Um, it's uh, I, don't know what the, I got some crap on there. I don't know what that is. Um, poncho, right? I can throw it over myself, throw it over the bag. Um, can make a shelter with it. Um, just you know, when when it's uh, crappy outside and raining, uh, you want to be able to stay dry. All right. Um, an emergency shelter, or not a shelter, but I'm sorry, uh, emergency bivy. Um, it's it's a little bit better than one of the blankets, not much. Uh, but, you know, if you're cold, it's going to help. Uh, some gloves. These are the, uh, oh, that's, that's where all that stuff rubbed off. Like, that's, that's Texas heat for you. Leave stuff in your car and stuff starts melting and getting gross on your ship. Uh, some gloves, uh, just they, they have the kind of the hard knuckle, you know, uh, so you're not banging, banging your hands up on stuff, um, but just a good pair of gloves. Uh, another uh, hint, uh, the uh, Harbor Freight gloves are, are surprisingly good. I actually usually have those in my, my bags instead. I, those are good too though, but Harbor Freight gloves. Um, <clears throat> And then this is just kind of my uh, accessories pouch here. Um, I've got, again, EDC bag. So I've got, uh, got a lighter. I actually have a ferro rod in there. Got a couple lighters in there, some charging cords, um, a little wall plug, some pins. Um, I actually, re I just took my other charger, my portable charger out here. Uh, but a portable power bank. This one's pretty cool. Um, has lots of ports. It holds a pretty good charge. It, it's I cannot remember the brand, uh, but it does it does a good job. Um, and it also has this little ring. You can actually like set your phone on here, and uh, and it'll charge like you turn it on. It'll charge through the phone, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's that's normally in there, but I actually was using it for my work phone and. Uh, 
I gotta charge it and put it back in my kit, right? Check your stuff. So, again, get home bag. We kinda made a, a mess here. Um, sleep system. So I was going to do uh, kinda like a tag along video with this, uh, with the kit that I keep in my truck. <clears throat> uh, I keep a tote in the back of my truck that uh, that has extra water. It actually has a little uh, um, additional um, bag, you know, it, it's like an emergency bag. Uh, it's smaller, it's like a shoulder bag, like a messenger bag. Um, I've got some extra food in there. Um, and then I, I, have a, uh, I have a hammock in there. And so my thought is, uh, if, if I have to ditch my truck, cause that, that's, that's where, that's, that's where we kind of need to go for this. Like this get home bag. Like I, I am not just gonna start walking. Like I am going to use my vehicle a, as much as I possibly can to get back home. Um, however, shit happens, right? Um, and so I've calculated out my furthest point from my house, which is about 42 miles. And some people are, oh my gosh, you can do that in a day. You could, um, you know, uh, if, if you're extremely fit and trained and, and, uh, you know, you have that ambition. Um, however, I'm, I'm coming across a very large city. I'm just outside of Houston. So I, I'm, I, I'm obviously operating out of Houston, Texas. And so, um, if I'm needing to get home and it's bad, uh, again, we're talking really bad. Like, you know, it's not like, oh, my car broke down. I can call Frank to come pick me up or something. No, it's like it's chaos, right? Um, you're trying to, you, you're going to want to be a little more incognito. You're going to want to kind of work in the shadows, uh, not want to be seen. I'm trying not to interact with people, to be honest with you. So it's going to take more time. Um, Yes, I do want to push through and get home as fast as possible. However, let's be real, some, sometimes you got to rest. Um, I'm not a fan of hammock camping. I've done it, uh, but the hammocks provide some, some nice features as far as it, it gets you off the ground. Um, it acts as, as a seat. You can sit in it, um, take that poncho, string it up over above you, and, and, and you have a little more of a shelter. Um, but it keeps you off the ground. Um, you know, here in Texas, there's there's a bunch of creepy crawlies that they'll like to get you. I, I, I'm I somehow myself and my boys somehow always manage to find all the damn ants, right? So, so I'm not just gonna lay on the ground. My my luck, I'll be in some damn ant hill and and all laid up. And you got fun spiders and 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 snakes and stuff around here. So just being up off the ground, just a little more uh, reassurance that you're not gonna have other issues you need to deal with because you're already gonna have blisters on your feet and you're gonna be tired and you're gonna be stressed and everything else. So that's kind of my game plan there. But I think that's gonna be another video. I'll, I'll, I'll break that toad out and, and show some stuff um, that's in there. Again, it's not gonna be a, a glamorous video. I mean, it's a it's a damn tote with supplies, right? So, um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my video. Again, I apologize for the, a lot of airplanes flying by today. Uh, so thank you for stopping in. And uh, this was not this was not a quick video. We're coming up on about 30 minutes. So, again, thanks for stopping by the channel, checking things out. Uh, feel free to comment. I'd love some ideas. You know, this this is a uh, this uh, community. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of knowledge out there. I, I'm I'm never going to claim to know everything. And so, if anyone has any ideas or comments or suggestions, I am I'm very open to it. Um, so again, thank you, my best to you all, and we'll catch you next time. Later.